Hi and welcome to Spacebound, where today we'll be showing you 20 awesome science experiments simple enough to do at your own home. Number 20, making water float. Quick warning, this experiment is insanely cool and rewarding when done correctly, but involves many failed attempts and a lot of cleanup duty afterwards. What you need is a glass container, a flat surface, and a towel. Also, distilled water works best. Oh, and a flat card. Fill the glass up and cover it with the card. This will give it a light vacuum seal. Flip it over and carefully pull the card out. Now you'll want to quickly, but carefully, lift up the glass in a twisting motion. The rotation of the glass will leave your water spinning in place, keeping its cup form. Good luck! Number 19. Disappearing Eggshell Tired of having eggshells fall onto your eggs? It's a simple solution, really. Just pour a decent amount of vinegar into a glass, leave an egg in said vinegar, and set for about approximately 24 hours. Dry it off and maybe clean it a little and you've got yourself a nice bouncy egg. It probably won't make for the most excellent tasting omelette, but it's still fun to play with. Number 18, Invisible Glass. For this experiment, you'll need two containers, one that you can fit the smaller one into, and vegetable oil. Fill the larger container with the vegetable oil and slowly immerse the smaller container. The reason this happens is because the light doesn't travel through the oil quite as fast so it reflects off the glass, making it seem invisible. Number 17, Colored Ants. Food coloring is generally harmless, so no ants were injured in the making of this experiment. All there is to do is dissolve sugar in food coloring. Multiple colors can make for some psychedelic combinations, by the way. The ants are naturally attracted to the sugar, so they'll consume the food coloring, which will be stored in the lower parts of their body, which is easily visible. Really cool, and again, totally harmless. Number 16. Heat-sensitive slime. In a container, mix white school glue in cold water, then add food coloring to get your desired color. Next, mix in thermochronic pigment. You can easily find it online. And lastly, liquid starch. Then keep mixing it until you're happy with the consistency. As you play with the slime, it will gradually change the color of your chosen pigment, which has a variety of options. And it reacts to both hot and cold temperatures, of course. Number 15. Crushing a can. With an empty soda can, pour in about 30 milliliters of water and heat it up at a low temperature on a stovetop. Be careful with this, by the way. Please, use tongs and maybe safety goggles if you have them. Keep a bowl of ice water aside, and once the can begins to steam from the inside, i.e. boiling point-ish, use the tongs to turn the hot can upside down into the cold water. Watch out for the boom. It gets even better when you see the same thing happen to a 55-gallon steel drum. Trust me. Number 14, floating pencil. No lame rubber pencil trick here. For this, you'll need six ring magnets, four big and two small, a pencil, of course, and a piece of cardboard. Place two of the larger ring magnets in front and the two others in the back, laying them down on the opposite side, so north and south pole. Place the two smaller magnets around the pencil and with some minor adjustments, it should eventually float. Number 13, extinguishing a flame. If you've ever made a plain old vinegar and baking soda volcano in school, then you might already know that the reaction releases CO2 gases. So for this experiment, just simply mix the vinegar and baking soda like usual, let the reaction happen, and block the container. Your hand will do. This allows CO2 to build up in the container, and because of the gas is somewhat dense, by tilting the glass over a candle, the CO2 will pour out of the glass and extinguish the flame. It's a really cool thing to see happen. Number 12. Candle Balancing To 
To start this one off, place two containers next to each other, but close enough so that your toothpick can correctly balance on the candle you poke it through. Once you've got that part down, light up both sides of the candle with a match. One side will end up melting faster than the other, causing it to shift back and forth like a seesaw. Number 11. Fingers smoking good. To begin this experiment, cut off the striker part of the matchbox and peel it off with a cardboard backing. Next, you will want to fold it inward, setting it on fire and placing it on something cold like a plate from the fridge. Once it burns out, keep the brown residue, rubbing it onto your finger, and then by rubbing that on your finger with another friction, it will give you smoke. Number 10. Balance a soda can. All you need to do for this experiment is empty out a standard 355 milliliter and refill it with about 100 milliliters of liquid. So either water or just the soda you poured out. It doesn't exactly matter. Then tilt the can on an angle because of the amount of soda left in the can, the weight gets distributed evenly. Now try it at a more difficult scale. Number 9. A bubble inside a bubble inside a bubble. There are some things you never realize until they're pointed out to you. Then you're like, damn, that's pretty cool. This is one of those things. All right, to start off, you'll need to make a bubble solution. Have 250 milliliters of water ready and mix four spoons of dish soap and one spoon of glycerin. Stir it up and coat the smooth surface with the solution. Next, dip a straw into the solution and blow into the coating forming a bubble, then repeat forming smaller bubbles. Number eight, waterproof shoes. Testing time. This one's for all you shoe freaks. Wet stains are a pain to get off, whether it's from rain, mud, or even food. All you really need is wax. A candle probably works the best, and all you need to do is rub it around your shoe. Once that step is done, blow dry the wax so it adds a layer of safeguard. Number 7. Liquid Magnet For this, all you need is an MICR toner, so basically just visit a nearby Staples, a rare earth magnet, and some vegetable oil. Mix about 50 milliliters of toner in with a container and 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Mix it well, then pour it into a smaller, clean container. Now comes the rare earth magnet to test out the substance. If you did it properly, you can guide the ferrofluid wherever you like. Don't mind the spikes, and be aware of potential mess. Number 6. The Unbreakable Egg. Sort of. Okay, so I had a project in high school where we could use whatever we wanted to keep an egg safe when dropping it from a ceiling. Really, could have used this experiment back then, but long story short, didn't use it in a broke. All you need are some paper clips, a styrofoam container, your egg obviously, and rubber bands. In this case, the thicker, the better. Place the clips around the container and wrap your rubber bands around the egg to keep it in place. I'm only assuming the more bands you use, the better your chances, but also keep in mind that results may vary depending on the height of the drop. So be careful and don't expect perfection. Number, number 4. Glow in the Dark Ice Cubes Aside from needing a black light, there's practically nothing to making glow in the dark ice cubes. Perfect for a party. All you need is a specific tonic water brand which includes quinine in it. So brands like Canada Dry or Schweppes are great. All there is to do is freeze the tonic water in an ice tray and you have glow-in-the-dark ice cubes perfect for fizzy-ish drinks. And also, those nice little parties. Number 3. DIY Oblek Ocean? It's not, like, it's not gonna stick to me. So you could play with it. It's just like any other slime, I guess you could say. When you let it flow just droops down and acts like a liquid. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today. Is water wet? Maybe this is the answer. Anyway, Oblek is a somewhat complex substance. If you apply a lot of force to it like a punch, it'll be decently solid. But if you pick it up and leave it in your hand, it'll droop down like it's mud. So depending on how much of this gooey substance you want, just take the basic recipe and multiply. Typically, it's one part water for every 1.5 parts cornstarch. You can also add food coloring for added effect like green for slime, red for blood, or blue to make it look like you're walking in water, or running. Number 2. Color Changing Flowers
Got some old flowers slowly wilting away, liven up their mood and yours with this awesome trick. Next time you water your plants, pour in a food coloring of your choice like orange, purple, rose, or even aqua, just throwing out random colors, and already within a few hours you'll begin to notice a change, and a colorful one at that. And finally, number one, levitation trick. A majority of experiments we've listed tend to follow a recipe, or a few simple steps, but this one is really just about luck. If you happen to have access to an air compressor gun, all you need to do is direct the air compressor to whatever object you're using, in this case a screwdriver, and just try to find the right angle to where it'll float. It's annoyingly difficult, but very rewarding. So, have fun with that, and make sure not to get too mad if you can't do it. And with that being said, that concludes what are 20 awesome science experiments you can do at home. Feel free to comment what you thought about today's video, and maybe leave a like if you've enjoyed. Also, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification button to see more spacebound videos similar to this one in the near future, and have yourselves an excellent day!